welcome to my channel. I am here in Porto and I am going to show you all the top sites to see. I'm going to vlog my way to Porto. Currently, I'm in the Salbento train station, which is famously known for the tiles that were created in the early 1900s. And this is still a working train station. It serves different parts of Portugal every single day. This is the Porto Cathedral. This is one of the oldest cathedrals here in Porto. It was built in the 12th century. And what's interesting is that it has some of the similar tile work that I saw earlier in Salbento train station. I'm just gonna walk through it and show you guys what it looks like. Super great meal at Cafe de Os. Be aware if you eat along the riverside, you definitely pay for the view. If there is one place that I would suggest you to visit when in Porto, it would definitely be the Monument Church of St. Francis. And it's exactly what it says, Monument. This is a, a massive campus that encompasses two distinct types of styles like the first style is a little bit more delicate the, the nave of the church is painted in light colors and it's just very bright and you have the catacombs in the basement of the church which is very common for churches of that time as well now the second part is the part that's most famous with the the monument of saint francis this place is beautiful the, the inner nave is carved in beautiful, intricate wood carvings. It's more of a Gothic style. But what sets it apart from most any church in Porto is that there is real gold leaf throughout the church. It is absolutely beautiful. It is magnificent. It is stunning. I definitely suggest. Now, you should be aware that there are no cameras allowed in the church, but I actually got to record a little bit before I saw the sign and before I was told to put my camera away. So I have a little gem in here for you guys to see. such a little kid look I am super excited about yes this train this train tour actually comes with two different options there's 10 euro option that allows you to take the train tour around the city as well as going to a winery and taste different types of port wine the second option which is 22 euro includes both of those things but also includes a six bridge boat tour the train ride was cool it gave you some views of the city of Porto. Um, I would say it's not the most uh, advantageous when it when you're trying to record because the ride is a bit turbulent. Uh, I think that's where it used turbulence. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it drops you off at the end point at a wine tasting area because Porto is famous for port wine. So that's what we're going to try. Very strong smell of alcohol. Oh wow, this is so cool. This is where they create the port wine. And these are the different wines ranging from really sweet to really dry, depending on fermentation. So it's not as sweet, but it's still a sweet port. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the stop at the winery is well worth it. I am on the boat. I am on the six bridge boat tour that's included with my train and boat tour package that I purchased earlier. It gives a really nice perspective from the water. We're stopping here at Restaurante Escondidinho. You definitely have to make a reservation for both lunch and dinner at really nice restaurants here in Porto. Alas, a Portuguese 
specialty, the sardine. We are going into one of the most popular sardine spots here in Porto. This is a must. Magnificent. Oh, fancy. It's like Willy Wonka sardine factory. Look, you can get the sardines based on what year you were born. Listen, these are not vintage sardines. It just tells you this is the year that this stuff happened and then they have um, different years. But yeah. These are the Portuguese egg tarts invented here in Portugal. Actually, they were invented in Lisbon, but we will try them here in Porto. I know what you're thinking, another McDonald's, but this has been argued to be one of the best designed McDonald's in the world. And the ice cream machine works. Let's have a look. This is a Lilo bookstore here in Porto. This bookstore is very famous because this is where J.K. Rowling gained her inspiration when she was writing the Harry Potter series. This bookstore may remind you of Hogwarts Library. Well, that's pretty much it in no particular order. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sonya Delight. In the meantime, here are some interesting videos and pictures from my portal trip. Wow.